Let's learn about bitwise operators available in Solidity. We'll go over the basics of AND, OR, XOR, NOT, SHIFT LEFT, and SHIFT RIGHT. Let's start with AND. The AND operator takes two numbers. In binary notation, these two numbers will be a sequence of zeros and ones. The output is also a number, a sequence of zeros and ones, where it is a one if both the inputs are one and zero otherwise. Let's take a look at an example. For example, let's say that x is equal to 14 and y is equal to 11. In binary representation, we can represent x as 1, 1, 1, 0. This is equal to 8 plus 4 plus 2 plus 0, which is equal to 14. Likewise for y, y can be represented as 1, 0, 1, 1. Now the bitwise AND operator looks at each bit for the inputs and returns a 1 if both of them are 1, otherwise it returns a 0. So, for example, the leftmost bit for x and y are both 1, so this will return a 1. Next, we have 1 and 0, so the result will be a 0. Next, we have 1 and 1, so that will be a 1. And last, we have 0 and 1, so the result will be a 0. This is equal to 8 plus 0 plus 2 plus 0, so this will be equal to a 10. In Solidity, we can write this AND operator as return x and y. So that is the bitwise AND operator. Let's move on to the OR operator. In the AND operator, we took two numbers and for each bit, we returned a 1 if both the bits were 1 and it returned 0 otherwise. For the OR operator, it will return a 1 if either of the bit is a 1. Let's take a look at an example. For example, let's say x is equal to 12 and y is equal to 9. We can write 12 as 1, 1, 0, 0. And we can write 9 as 1, 0, 0, 1. So what would be the result of x or y? We said that or returns a 1 if either of the bit is a 1. So, for example, starting with the left, we have a 1 and a 1. So we return a 1. For the next bit, we have a 1 and a 0. The or operator returns a 1 if either of the bit is a 1. So here we return a 1. In the next position, we have a 0 and a 0. So this will return a 0. And for the last bit, we have a 0 and a 1. So the OR operator will return a 1. And this will be equal to 8 plus 4 plus 0 plus 1. And this is equal to 13. In Solidity, the OR operator is a vertical pipe. So for example, we'll say return x or y. So that's the OR operator. Let's move on and talk about the XOR operator. Exclusive OR. The XOR operator returns a 1 only if one of the bit is equal to a 1. So if either the first bit is a 1 and the second bit is a 0, or the other way around, the first bit is a 0 and the second bit is a 1, then it will return a 1. Otherwise, it will return a 0. This is unlike the OR operator, where it returns a 1 if either the first bit or the second bit is a 1. Let's take a look at an example. For example, let's say that the first input x is a 12 and the second input y is a 5. 12 we can write it as 1100 0, 0, and 5 we can write it as 0101. 0, 1. So what is x, x or y? x, x or y is equal to the x or operator returns a 1 only if one of the bit is equal to a 1. Starting from the left, we have a 1 and a 0. So the x or a 1 and 0 is a 1. Next, we have a 1 and a 1 xor returns a 1 only if one of the bit is a 1. In this case, we have both of them being a 1, so this will return a 0. The next bit is a 0 and a 0, so it will return a 0. And lastly, the last bit is 0 and a 1, so the xor returns a 1. And this is equal to 8 plus 0 plus 0 plus 1, which is equal to 9. In Solidity, we will use this character for the XO operator. So I'll type return X, this weird symbol, Y. Okay, let's move on and talk about the NOT operator. This is a simple operator. It flips the bits. So if the bit is a 1, then it turns it into a 0. And if it was a 0, then it turns it into a 1. For example, let's say that X is equal to 12, and we'll represent this as 8 bits. So here we have a sequence of 8 zeros and 1s. Using the NOT operator, we will flip a 0 to a 1 and 1 to a 0. So this will be 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1. And this will be equal to 128 plus 
64 plus 32 plus 16 plus 0 plus 0 plus 2 plus 1. And using my calculator, this is equal to 243. In Solidity, we can use the NOT operator by typing return tilde x. Okay, next, let's talk about shift left and shift right operator. And we'll start with shift left. The shift operators shifts the bit either to the left or to the right. For example, if we shift one zero times, then this is one. We shift it to the left zero times, so it will still be equal to one. If we shift one one time to the left, then the resulting number will be moving this one once over to the left. So the resulting number is zero zero one zero, and this is equal to two. Likewise, if we shift one over to the left twice, then the resulting number is 0, 1, 0, 0, and this is equal to 4. Likewise, if we shift 1 3 times, then we get 8. How about if we shift 3 to the left 2 times? What does this equal to? Well, first, let's write 3 in binary notation. In binary notation, this will be equal to 0, 0, 1, 1, and we are going to shift the bits twice to the left, so we're moving these two numbers 1, 1 to the left twice, so this will be 1, 1, 0, 0. And this is equal to 8 plus 4, 12. To use the shift left operator in solidity, we will put this arrow looking thing. So say return x less than less than bits. Okay, let's move on and talk about shift right operator. The shift left operator moves the bits to the left. On the other hand, the shift right operator moves the bits to the right. Let's take a look at some simple examples. Starting from a, if we do zero shift rights, then we're not moving any bits to the right, so the resulting number is a eight. If we do a shift right one time, then we are moving this one over to the right once, so the resulting number is zero one zero zero, and it is equal to four. Likewise, starting from eight, if we do a shift right twice, then we're moving the 1 twice to the right, so the resulting number is 0, 0, 1, 0, and this is equal to a 2. If we do it 3 times, then the resulting number is 0, 0, 0, 1, and this is equal to a 1. How about starting from A, we do a shift right 4 times. Well, notice that if we do a shift right 3 times, then we get 0, 0, 0, 1. So, if we do it one more time, then this 1 will disappear, and the resulting number is 0, 0, 0, 0, or equal to 0. To use this operator in solidity, we would use the greater than, greater than character. So, for example, I'll type return x greater than, greater than bits. Let's compile this contract and go through these examples. I'll hit Control S to compile a contract, and then deploy on Remix. So, I'll hit deploy, scroll down, and then open the contract. Let's start with and. So if we do 14 and 11, we should get a 10 back. So here, I'll type 14 and 10, and then hit and, and we get a 10 back. Okay, let's move on and try the or example for 12 and 9. So here, I'll type 12 and 9 for the or, and then click on or, and it returns a 13 as expected. XOR, I'll put in a 12 and a 5. XOR, put a 12 and a 5. And it should return a 9 back. And it does. Okay, moving on. Let's try not operator. Now notice that here I put in a uint 8. Because if we were to use uint 256 and we put in a small number for x, when we flip the bits, it will be a very large number. So that is why I'm using uint 8 here to keep the example small. So for the example of not, what number did we put? We put in 12 and we should get back 243. Put in 12 and we get 243 back. Okay, let's move on. What is the next example? The next example will be shift left. For this example, we'll put in 3 and then shift to left 2 times. So shift left 3 twice, shift left, and we get a 12 back. Okay, moving on. For the shift right example, I'll put in 12 and 1, and we should get back a 6. So, shift right, 12, 1, 
and we get back a 6. Okay, so that was a simple example of bitwise operators available in Solidity. Now as a challenge for you, using the bitwise operators, implement the function get vast n bits. This function will take in two inputs, uint x and uint n, and it will return the last n bits from x. For example, if x is equal to 1101 in binary notation, and let's say n is equal to 3, then this function will return the last 3 bits, so it will return 101, and the output will be 0101. This is in binary notation, so when it returns, it will return a number. Pause the video here to think about this problem, and in a few moments, I'll go over the answer. Okay, let's now go over the answer. The bitwise operators that we'll be using is shift left and the end operator. What we'll do is create n ones. For example, if n is equal to three, then we'll create three ones and then use the end operator to return the last n bits. For example, let's say x is equal to one one zero one and we want to return the last three bits. The first thing that we'll do is create a sequence of three ones. I'll name this mask. So this will be equal to 0, 1, 1, 1. Next, we'll do an AND operation on x and mask to return the last three bits. So x and mask, this will be equal to 1 and 0 is equal to 0. 1 and 1 is equal to 1. 0 and 1 is equal to 0. And 1 and 1 is equal to 1. And notice that we have returned the last three bits from the input x. Let's write this in solidity. uint mask is equal to, how will we create a sequence of ones? Well, the trick here is to shift one n times and then minus one. Shift one n times and then minus one. This will create a sequence of ones. Let me show you an example with n equals three. So if we shift one three times, then this will be equal to one, Shift it once, then it will be one zero. Shift it twice, then it will be equal to one zero zero. And shift it three times, it will be equal to one zero zero zero. And then from this, we do minus one. If we minus one, the first bit will be a zero and the rest of the bits will be a one. So we have three ones. And that is how we create a mask, a sequence of n ones. Okay, once we have a mask, we can return x and mask to return the last 10 bits. So I'll type return x and mask. And that is how you return the last 10 bits. Okay, let's compile the contract and look at an example. So I'll hit control S and then we'll deploy this contract again. So I'll clear the old one and then deploy the new one. Open the contract and then we'll go over this example. 1101 is equal to 13. So 13, and we want to return the last three bits. So I'll put in three, and then get last n bits. The output should be 0, 1, 0, 1. 0, 1, 0, 1 is equal to five, and we get a five back. Now as a bonus, there's another way to return the last 10 bits using the mod operator. So let's take a look. Now I won't go deep into the math, but the way we would do it is take x mod 2 to the n bits. So for example, return x mod 2 to the n. Now 2 to the n is the same as shifting 1 n times. So here we'll use the shift left operator. And to show you this example, I'll compile the contract and redeploy this contract. Clear the old one, deploy the new one, and then we'll call the function get vast n bits using mod. For the previous example, we passed in 13, and for the bits, we passed in 3, and we got a 5 back. Let's see what we get back here. And we get the same answer, 5. 